The Doria Pamphilje Gallery, often Doria Pamphili Gallery in English, is a large private art collection housed in the Palazzo Doria Pamphilje in Rome, Italy, between Via del Corso and Via della Gatta. The principal entrance is on the Via del Corso, until recently, the entrance to the gallery was from the Piazza del Collegio Romano. The palace facade on Via del Corso is adjacent to a church, Santa Maria in Violata. Like the palace, it is still privately owned by the princely Roman family Doria Pamphili. Tours of the state rooms often culminate in concerts of Baroque and Renaissance music, paying tribute to the setting and the masterpieces it contains. The Galleria Doria Pamphilje collection was started by Pope Innocent X Pamphilje in 1644. It currently consists of over 400 paintings dating from the 15th to the 18th century. Oddly, the paintings are in an order that has not changed over the course of time. This can be proven through an 18th century document that details the exact placement of each one of the paintings. One of the most noteworthy works in the gallery is the portrait of Pope Innocent X, by Velázquez, which shows the Pope exactly as he was, an ominous and distrustful man. This led to a great deal of controversy at the time of its painting, given that other artists purported to idealize the pontiff's characteristics in order to soften his sinister visage. Despite the painting's realism, the Pamphilje family keeps it in a special place, and it has had its own room since the 19th century. In addition to the full gallery, within the palace you can also visit a small chapel and several private rooms that maintain their original decor and part of their furniture. The large collection of paintings, furniture, and statuary has been assembled since the 16th century by the Doria, Pamphilje, Landi and Aldo Brandini families now united through marriage and descent under the simplified surname Doria Pamphilje. The collection includes paintings and furnishings from Innocent X's Palazzo Pamphilje, in Piazza Navona, who bequeathed them to his nephew Camillo Pamphilje. The palazzo has grown over the centuries, it is likely the largest in Rome still in private ownership. The main collection is displayed in state rooms, including the chapel, complete with the mummified corpse of the family saint. However, the bulk is displayed in a series of four gilded and painted galleries surrounding a courtyard. An extensive suite of further rooms have now been converted to permanent well-lit galleries, containing the more medieval and Byzantine art in the collection. The palace was renovated for the marriage of Andrea IV Doria Pamphilje Landi to Princess Leopoldina Maria of Savoy, daughter of Louis Victor, Prince of Carignan and Christine of Hessero Tenberg in 1767. Work was carried out under the supervision of Francesco Nicoletti, an architect from Trapani. Velázquez's portrait of Innocent X, who rose to papacy as Cardinal Jovan Battista Pamphilje in 1644, is considered the collection's masterpiece. Velázquez while not idealizing the Pope's countenance, is not unflattering in the portrait, Innocent X's features were by his contemporaries believed to symbolize a despotic lifestyle and vindictive character. The portrait painted to commemorate the Holy Year was commissioned by his hedonistic sister-in-law Olympia Maitalkini who was his close confidant and advisor, and some say mistress. Since 1927, Velázquez's portrait was placed in a specially designated small room along with a sculptured bust of the same Pope by Bernini. Olympia Maitalkini's son Camillo Pamphilje, defying his powerful mother, renounced the cardinalship conferred on him by his uncle the Pope and married the widowed Olympia Borghese. Born in Aldo Brandini, she brought the palazzo known as Palazzo Aldo Brandini into the Pamphilje family. Following a period of exile in the country, to avoid confrontation with the Pope and Olympia Maitalkini, the newly married couple took up permanent residence in the Palazzo Aldo Brandini which from 1654 Camillo began to expand on a large scale, neighboring houses and a convent were bought and demolished as the Palazzo grew, in spite of local opposition from the neighboring Jesuits at the Collegio Romano. The architect in charge of this lengthy project was Antonio del Grande. The facade facing the Via del Corso, however, is by Gabriel Valvisari. Following Camillo's death in 1666, building continued under the auspices of his two sons Giovanni Battista, his heir, and Benedetto. One of Camillo and Olympia's daughters, Anna Pamphilje, married the Genos aristocrat Giovanni Andrea III Doria Landi in 1671, and it was their descendants who inherited the palazzo when the Roman branch of the Pamphilje family ended in 1760. In 1763 Prince Andrea IV combined his Genos and Roman names to the present Doria Pamphilje Landi. 
In 1767 the ceilings of the state rooms were frescoed by late Baroque artists such as Crescenzio Onofri, Orleano Milani, and Stefano Pazzi, Solidigli Specci. The collection was first opened to the public by the three-quarters English Princess Orietta Pog's son Doria Pamphilje, whose English husband Commander Frank Pog's son added her name to his. Her own father, Prince Filippo Andrea VI, was half English. Princess Orietta and Commander Frank did much to restore the collection and the palazzo, following her death in 2000 the guardianship of the collection was taken over by her adopted, English-born children, Jonathan Doria Pamphilje and Gisine Pog's son Doria Pamphilje, who still live in the palazzo. Along with the possessions of the Colonna and Pulavisaniris Bigliosi families, this is one of the largest private art collections in Rome. <laughs>